Heard it from a friend, she was in our bed, should have known better. Said it was the truth, she came on to you, yeah, but you let her. Not me. Just nearly had a heart attack, my camera wasn't turning on, and it was literally like turn off and turn on. The lens wasn't coming out, and I was like, don't do this to us, it's my favourite camera. I don't want to fork out for another one right before Christmas or get this one fixed, but we're on. So quit your engine, Dem, we're on. First things first this morning, post office, I have a full bag, I think I counted 15, could be wrong, but we've got a parcel going to America, a parcel going to Ireland, it's mad that people like internationally are buying from my business. Anyway, we're going to the post office, first things first, and I need to do a grocery shop today, we have bare minimum in the house and I mean literally bare minimum I think I've got three cartons of milk because I bulk bought the milk last time I went to the grocery shop because it was 49 pence so milk's all about what we've got at the minute yeah <sighs> it's actually quite sunny today surprising because we have had the worst weather up north it's been so rainy I haven't even been able to take the dogs to the field for ages because although it like grass is like sludged but anyway Heading to do my grocery shop, heading to the post office. Let's get this shit done. You could fly a kite with our shoes off, bust on the boom box, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need, and off to the races. Watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking me places, starry eyed and complacent. We could fly a kite with our shoes off, bust on the boom box, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need. Watch it fly like a spaceship You're taking me places Starry-eyed and complacent Watch it catch the wind and go See it sail the breeze up low And your view and it shows Right, I've just been sat in the car avoiding the rainstorm. I've had the dogs at the beach, which actually it was quite nice at the beach. Um, a bit chilly, but not raining or anything, so it was nice. I'm going to head in to two charity shops because they're just literally here and then go to Heron Foods. And then um, after Heron Foods, so basically if you've seen the last thing where I explained what my grocery shops mainly is at the minute, I go to Heron Foods, get majority of the stuff or get what I can. And then I go to likes of Lidl, Aldi or Asda, somewhere else to get the other stuff. I'm thinking Lidl today. I do fancy Lidl because I've seen they've got quite a lot of vegan stuff in. And obviously it is one of the more affordable supermarkets. I've ordered another HelloFresh box for this week as well. I do like to have two or three recipes from HelloFresh a week as well. It's just a personal preference for us it works so well this video isn't an ad but it does work well in terms of us not like because for example like we don't have that many meals together but with the hello fresh meals i found a way in which we can have them together we'll get the vegetarian ones and then sean will just have the vegetarian version and i'll substitute it to be vegan and it just works really well and means we can have meals together we could do it separately and go to the supermarket and get all um, that stuff but there's a lot of wastage when we do that because we have to buy like a full bag of carrots instead of like getting two cent to it from HelloFresh and it just works for us um so yeah we've got a HelloFresh box coming I'm gonna do the rest of our food shop at Herons and probably one of the others I might get everything at Herons but I usually do need to stop off somewhere else. Uh, I've done my food shop. I'm going to head to a retail park near my area because I'm actually going to be filming a full Christmas come shop with me. That will be for another video though, which will be up just after this one, I think. I'm just trying to get ahead of my videos because I am going away for three days um, with Sean and the pups and I am trying to get ahead of the videos because if I don't I'll like slip up quite a bit and fall behind. So yeah there's a lot on at the minute so I'm just trying to pre-film some videos and I thought doing a good festive come shop with me would be nice because I haven't actually done one in a while and people do love them. I'm going to go to Home Bargains, B&M and pref probably Poundland. I went a bit all out on the shopping. Don't know if I thought there was going to be another war and I needed to pick stuff up. I went to three shops. This is the problem. I try and go to Herons to make it cheaper and then go to Asda to get the rest, but I get like caught up with stuff and I'm like, oh, I like that. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I've never tried that before. So I went to Herons, Asda. I'm on my way home. I passed Lidl and I thought I want to go in Lidl. So I did. The benches are full. I'm going to show you everything I got, but like, it's excessive. And this will do with way more than a week, to be fair. And I spent, what did I spend? I spent 35 in Lidl because I got some 
of the like imported stuff well it's nearly all of the like imported stuff so it's more expensive i spent 35 inherents and 60 odd 70 odd in asda sean asked for a lot as well sean did want a lot this shop right i'll just shut up and show you starting off this little section is asda uh that section over there is asda as well so i'll show you asda first i got a big bag of frozen chips I got some of the vegan fishless fillets because me and Sean are going to have these for tea. Peppers, vegan vegetable patty, cocktail sausages because they're a high value treat for the dogs. Chicken roll because it's a high value treat for the dogs. I then also got some fudge brownie ice cream for Sean. I got some multi-grain crackers. I then also got some soy sauce. Some of the vegan chocolate spread. Baked beans, spaghetti hoops, baked beans, vegetable soup for me and chicken soup for Sean. I then also got a mix of Chinese sauces. I got two of the black bean and two of the chow mein. I got some kale. I then also got these croutons and a packet of the um, golden veg. And then I'll go to the other Asda part. I got the vegan Kievs. Sean asked for a few microwave meals. So I got him the beef stew and dumplings. I got him the steak and ale with buttery mash. Swedish style meatballs and buttery mash and I got him the chilli con carne and rice. He asked for some chicken thighs, skinless and boneless, so I got them. I got some bacon, some pasta, some more croutons, but these ones are garlic and herb. I got two steaks, one for Sean and one for the dogs because they do like a little steak every now and again. I then also got this tender and crisp like pea bean things, peas. I then also got this plant-based Greek style feta cheese. And Sean asked for a Thai curry paste, so I just picked him up this one. I then also got some bananas, raspberries, small sweet corn or baby corn. I then also got the red Thai curry paste. I got myself these chorizo slices and a big packet of chicken for Sean and the dog. So that is Asda shopping. I'll then move on to Heron Foods. So at Heron's, I picked up two of these soups for Sean because it was two for a pound. It's the Heinz Chicken Parsnip and Rosemary. I then also picked up this yogurt for Sean and two of the plant-based ball ones for me. I then also picked up two of the um, plant-based rice, vanilla, what do you call it? What do you call this again? Rice thing. Two more chickens for the dog. Some eggs for Sean. I then also picked up these serene cherry um, mini loaves. I then got some beetroot. I accidentally picked up three packets of wraps. I thought I'd picked up two, but there's three here, so I will just freeze some. I got some cherry tomatoes, salt and vinegar snacker jacks, some brown onions, red onions, cucumber. I got some of the garlic bread slices, this innocent smoothie. I love finding these in Herons because they're only 60 pence, and I personally like having them. I got some tender stem broccoli, cheese, hummus and mince for Sean and then I also picked up some cokes so these were two for a pound I've already drank one in the car so I got four of them I got these hot dogs for Sean and high value treats for the dogs and I then also got these energy drinks to try so I got two of the cloudy lemonade because it was two for a pound and two of the apple and elderflower so that is Heron's and moving on to Lidl this is where I spent the most to be honest because I just got greedy and got stuff um, but I've seen this and it reminds us of that seasoning in America that everyone raves about. So I thought we'd try it. All purpose seasoning. Um, it's a huge bottle of it. I then also got this. This is season, universal vegetable season. Universal? Universal vegetable seasoning. Then I also got some brown rice chips to go with my hummus. These are actually in hummus flavour as well. And then I got this soup. Me and Sean are loving soups at the minute. Um, and this is the one we can both have. Tomato soup with lentils and chickpeas. Um, Sean had asked us to get rice and I totally forgot. So I picked up some rice. I got some baklava. Me and Sean love baklava. And it's usually really expensive. And this is vegan because it's made with syrup, not honey. And it was like $3.99 or something. So I got baklava. I got two of the pretzel things that the bakery do because I love them. I got Sean these two ice creams, mocha and hazelnut and shortbread chocolate. Some coconut milk which she asked for for his curries. A toothpaste. I then also got these to keep in the freezer. Sage, onion, hazelnut, vegan nut roasts. I then also got this simply because it's vegan and it's the same range as the baklava and it's covered in syrup. So I thought, well, we'll try that. Kitchen towels, two pots of coffees, big Thing of falafel we needed some pots because we are um, meal prepping a bit more these days so i got some more pots this xl shower gel 
and then I also picked up this disinfectant spray in fresh scent and this foam oh no sorry it's a glass cleaner in vanilla so that is everything that I got but I need to put all this away before it starts going off you are crazy with it look at the size of Henry's sausage treat <laughs> That's even like a half a one because I've halved it between them because it's massive. Is that your sausage? Is that a good treat? I thought you'd like that one. I have to ask Santa to bring you more, won't we? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to do buy up again. I haven't did buy up in, oh God, so long. Basically, I went back to acrylics, but acrylics just wreck my nails like my nails are absolutely disgusting at the minute so i found a new lady who does buy up because the girl that i used to go to moved like you know quite a bit like away from us so um it just was wasn't going to be worth going like to her so yeah i'm gonna go and try a new lady today i'm really excited i just want to start the journey of like growing my own nails again because this ain't it it's not it. Ignore the mess in my car, you can't say it. Okay, and the journey has started again. I mean, obviously, we've got to start from scratch because your girl bites her nails, but I'm very excited to start by it again by Christmas, which should have some length on these fingertips. You might be like, Demi, you're looking a little bit festive, aren't you, for the 8th of November? Well, I've just filmed a... Um, piece of content that's going to go live in December for a brand that I've had a year-long contract with and honestly they're like one of my favorite brands to work with I'm s like honestly when I got the contract it's basically Batiste I've been doing reels and TikToks with them all year and I've just done my Christmas one ready to send off to them which I'm really really excited about um because I absolutely love the product who doesn't I've used it since my school years and yeah when they wanted to work with us I was so beyond grateful because it's a brand that I've used for years and I just I love them so much anyway I've just filmed my Christmas campaign so I'm gonna go and edit it and then send it to my manager Jamie so he can send it off to the brand and then get feedback and stuff like that I've been focusing on doing some UGC content as well recently which if you've never heard of that it's user generated content it's basically content that I would produce for a brand but not actually post on my social socials I'd send it to the brand um once it's been sorted like fully edited and everything and they would pay me to post it on their socials and have the rights over the content and stuff I've been doing a bit of that recently and I've really been enjoying it it's very different to making content to post on your own socials because I feel like when I'm making content post on my socials it, you know a lot of it is about me and my personality and stuff but when it's going on a brand's social it's very different and I have done it like over the last five years of doing social media I've done it um for the perfume shop before like loads of brands but I um yeah I'm picking up a bit more of that recently as well which has been really nice um so I have two pictures to film this afternoon for that to get them sent out in fact I might do the pictures that I need to film yeah I think I might do the pictures now before I start editing because once I edit I, I get lazy and I still need to go to the post office to post more parcels the ones I like sorted out earlier I'm thinking I'm going back to the gym tonight as well I fancy going to the gym even just taking my headphones and doing like an hour 40 minutes even half an hour you know I just fancy getting a bit sweaty in the gym so I think I'm gonna attempt to go there the night we've had a bit of a situation in this household haven't we so I bought this that's not cool by the way it is actually a sausage treat I bought this today for the pups but Santa actually told us to pick it up for them so I was like I will so I picked this up on behalf of Santa and they've been in the bag and found it so this was meant to be for Christmas, but you have seen it now. So how does that happen? How did you get this corn? I think Sean give it to them. I didn't know it was upstairs before. I don't understand how you got it. You sneaked it out. You sneaked it out of my bag. You sneaked it out of my bag. He says I didn't like. Whose is that? Did you do it? This? Did you pull it out my bag? She's no, the elf left it. Did the elf leave it? Is that sausage nice? Hmm? Did you pull this corn out my bag? I feel like it might have been you. Because you do love a teddy. You do love a teddy. Was this yours? 
Who do you think it was, Dad? Oh, he looks shocked that you said him. He's like, you are going to get chinned because it wasn't me, Dad. He says, it wasn't me. Might as well have the corn now. Can't go away now, can he? So that's them one present down for Christmas. By the way, guys, I'm still, it's still the same day. I've just changed top again because obviously I was filming the Christmas content earlier which I didn't really want to go out in a Christmas card again, you know? I don't feel like it's the vibes yet. Um, so I've just put this little polka dot one on, which I have realised has got a red stain on it. Never mind. We're going to Sean's mum and dad's for tea tonight. Um, so, yeah, we're heading there for tea. Which will be nice. Which will be nice. I've ate all my lipstick. It's like, come off. All gone. Ate it. I actually came to the realisation a few years ago that we actually do eat all of our lipstick don't we because like it's on your mouth yeah lick your mouth you talk and all that and then you just like eat it so basically when you look at a full tube of lipstick we we'll actually eat it so do with that information what you will but we we'll eat with lipstick and i've known for a long time but yeah mine always bleeds because i've got funny shaped mouth so it like bleeds down here you know the vlog where um, we went to get your car? Yep. And you know when we couldn't decide on a name? Mm -hmm. What did we call it again? Because I forgot. It was Marvin. Melvin. Melvin. No, I don't like Melvin though. You don't like no. it? Because someone actually said a good name on that mm -hmm. vlog and mm -hmm. I think you might like it. Um, Paddington. Because that's Paddington. where we got it from. Did we? Yeah, we went to Paddington. I went to we did go to Paddington. I think it was called it was way that area of London we were in was called Paddington but was we it? were in like we went to like a separate like thing like it really? so we were calling Paddington cool that, yeah. right so we've now changed it he's not Melvin he's Paddington mm -hmm. this is the official announcement like Paddington Bear Paddington Car Paddington Seat yeah how are you finding it you've had it what is it a week now you've had it Aye, good like it don't Aye, you yeah, good. just feel does it still feel big or I boots full good I filled it up there and it's good. Hi. So, better. Enjoying it. Anyway, it's really dark, but we're going into Sean's mum's for tea, so I just wanted to give you an update on the name because we've decided this is Paddington. What? What? What do you mean? What? What, you didn't decide it? <laughs> you decided it. No, you did as well. 